So for parted around most of the morning here and now the wind's picked up again so it's going to be noisy so I'll try talking loud. Uh, grating, you know, metal grating and, and uh, the staircases and stuff like a uh, fire escape types or catwalks and stuff. I, I'm making a couple of those just to test out. Uh, th this is neat stuff that I just found. It, it's uh, it's called Java Jacket, hey, but it's it's that uh, heat thing that they put around a styrofoam cup when you buy it, like you know, from a you know a vendor or whatever, and they have that little paper thingy that goes around it. I took a couple still pictures because I didn't have the DVD at the time, eh? But so, anyways, uh, you know, it's got it's that kind of cardboardy type stuff, eh? and it comes in sort of a uh, well, I'll show you a still picture. Here. Okay. So, and that's how I cut it. So you get about two pieces this size off it. Okay. Uh, this one here, I've you know I've glued some uh, coffee stir sticks onto it, given the little edge, and painted silver and stuff, and that looks pretty much like steel grating. Now I suppose I could have just used this stupid remote here and zoomed this in, but anyway. So now for the stairs, I've. Uh, So for, so for the stairs, I'm using uh, the coffee stir sticks too, okay? Basically, I've glued a couple of them together, okay? And then I've just cut a notch on it, and then that'll sit uh, like that, okay? You know, on the side there. And then that'll be, you know, for the, the stairs. And for the stairs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this mesh stuff here that I found, okay? Uh, I'm not too sure what came in here. Or tomatoes or onions or something like that. Okay, so I've cut off a little piece here, which looks pretty much like grating and then I was going to uh, sandwich it between a couple little thin stock pieces of wood okay now which brings me to why I started this little video type thing is little thin stocks of wood and stuff toothpicks are good but we all know that they're kind of you know uh, beveled you know they're not they're not all straight okay these little wooden tool kits I mean we've all all seen them we've probably all bought Bottom. I, I buy them actually. I wait until they go on sale, eh? uh, down from the forty dollars or whatever the heck they want to them um, down to nine ninety nine, which is I, what I buy these for. And the reason why I buy them lots of times is because of all the blades. I mean, you buy replacement blades, uh, man, they're so expensive. Anyway, so you get a whole whack of different blades. You get a you know coping saw. You get a a little uh, shaver, you know, which works pretty good. And you get one of these weird things, okay? What these are are uh, balsa wood strippers, okay? Uh, and, how, and how you use them is on a thin piece of wood. I mean, you stick your blade in it like this, and you adjust your uh, distance on the, the bottom plate here, okay? And then you can take your piece of wood, I'm going to show you on this, okay? and just slide it along there and, and it'll give you a nice, you know, same width pieces of wood, okay? You can do it on hard cardboard too, which is probably what I'm going to do for the, the rails on this thing. So rather than doing the, uh, you know, toothpicks or wood and stuff, I'll probably end up just using, you know, some, you know, old hockey card type material, cereal box. Cereal boxes, use cereal box lots. Anyways, I wanted to show you that in case you've never, always wondered what the heck that thing's for, okay? Here's a couple other tools too that you, that a guy should look out for if you know, you know at a uh, you know a mini hobby store type thingy. Okay, the one is is a bastardized version of it. Okay, but uh, these are draw plates. Okay, and basically you take your piece of a wood stock and draw it through you know progressively smaller holes. Hey, and this will give you a nice little square ones or uh, you know half quarter rounds or there's. Uh, egg type things. Those are kind of cool, hey? So, if you ever wondered how you get a little bit like, you know, in the model ship building and stuff where they've got uh, the really small wooden rails along the side, you, yeah, and you, you can't find those, right? So, the, what, what you do is you take those round toothpicks, okay, and you take a draw plate, like in this case, this is a, actually a, a metal drill gauge, okay? But same idea, okay? Because it's metal and, and the edges are kind of sharp, I can go down to a sixteenth of an inch with this one. Okay, so I take my toothpick. Is there that one here? Okay, well here, here's a, one of these square ones, okay? And you just start in one hole, 
and draw it through. You can see how it shaves it, okay? So that you, you, if you if you ever see one of these, a, a nice little metal one, grip it because it's really handy, okay? And you just keep going down through smaller holes. Now this is this is a drill gauge, okay? So it's not not the the tool I'm actually talking about, but you can see the idea. There's you know my my square toothpick is now round, eh? And you just keep like I said. So that's that's about the only way you can get a a piece of wood down to you know a really small round one sixteenth of an inch is you need a you know something along this line eh I suppose you could make one I'm not too sure this this uh, draw draw plate here it's actually kind of beveled the holes are kind of beveled a little bit eh so hey never seen those those are kind of cool tools to have I had something else here too I've actually cleaned this up you know I have cleaned this up but Oh well, I'll show you in the next segment. So here's a first experiment with those uh, uh, stair rungs. Hold it up here. Okay, this is that wire meshing off uh, a bag, you know, like an onion bag or something. Okay, and then I slit to those plastic pops popsicle sticks. They're hollow, eh? So slice them with your exacto knife. And then I just ran a toothpick down, and as the the gap closed in behind, you know, I wedged a little piece of plastic in there. Okay, so I'm going to think that might work good for the the stairs. Okay, I mean it's a little bit fat. These are what an eighth of an inch, maybe a little bit more, maybe three. Well, yeah, about an eighth of an inch, I guess. Okay, the other option I was thinking of doing, like I said, is gluing toothpicks down or something. Uh, you know on each side now because I've only got this on each side I suppose a guy could cut you know 45s on here and then do you know popsicles and then it's tubular steel sort of all the way around the little grating type thingy what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take like a match stick type thickness maybe a little bit less and I'm going to glue it you know on top sandwich this piece on the end here in between two pieces of wood that way on my uh, you know the rail that the stairs are going on hey I'll be able to have wood against wood for gluing and it'll just be easier, okay? I suppose if you're making it all out of white plastic, you know, that you can... I was thinking, you know, that little channel, you get a little white channel, eh, and it's so expensive though, hey? But you could, man, you could make this just looking exactly right, right? But this is not bad for, I mean, freebies, eh? The onion bag or a potato bag, whatever the heck this stuff was, and a couple of popsicle sticks or little plastic tubes. <laughs> Here they were right in front of me, okay, talking about these, the, the, the stairs, okay, uh, and I might use these instead too, okay, they're little plastic tubes, okay, and uh, about three and a half inches long, really nice little round hard plastic type tubes, they're kind of cool, I might slip this on one side and then just kind of wedge that, uh, you know, the, the screen inside it, do that down, you know, cut both things and then cut them off and I might have the stairs with a, a round pipe, you know, and paint it all silver. I got these off of popsicles, you know, popsicles, yeah, you know, instead of the paper stems, they got these little plastic ones, eh? So, I mean, you can buy a hundred popsicles for really cheap, get your kid to eat them and there you go. Oh, this little tray that I've got, this is something, you know, that, you know, they're the metal ones that come in the, you know, there's 20 or 30 or something in these little metal things. These are the dividers that, you know, so you can divide your things off. These, these are really cool, you know, you paint because they're frosted slightly, eh? Uh, and what you do is you paint the back side, okay, with a, a, a green-gray color, and it'll come out looking just like a TV screen or a monitor screen that's, you know, with nothing on it, eh? But it'll, it'll look just like a monitor screen. Try it, you know, just get that gray-greenish type color, uh, you know, I know a German gray or whatever they want to call it, or mix your own, right? And paint it on the back side, eh? And, uh, yeah, yeah, it <laughs> looks pretty good. They're also good for fluorescent lighting, you know, like the fluorescent light, eh? The, the, if you're building and you got the roof in there and you want a piece of, you know, fluorescent lighting, so you take, you take one of these, eh? And two of your popsicle sticks, eh? And put them in behind and glue it in, and, and you tell me that that doesn't look like fluorescent tubes underneath a light fixture. I mean, that, that yeah, yeah, that's kind of a cool idea. Anyways, I wanted to show you those. That was the other thing I wanted to show you. I suppose I should show you this. 
you know when they're working on your telephone lines and they've got about a you know a, in this case it was about a three foot or four foot chunk of this uh, telephone line eh boy is this handy hobby stuff I use this for all kinds of stuff. If you're doing a little LED work or train work or something like that, man, that, that's great. Great fine wire. Eh? It's all color coded for you too. Eh? You get lots, lots of it too. I mean, I pulled all this out of just the one piece. Eh? All these rolls I've, I got out of just one length of that telephone cable line. So, I mean, if you ever see a telephone guy by your place, eh? ask him if you.